Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Dr. Miller, and the SCP we're going to be looking at today is SCP-1152. Object Class, Safe. Special Containment Procedures SCP-1152 is to be kept in a solitary habitat in the Site-98 Animal Housing Wing. SCP-1152 is to be given 5 kilograms of feed meeting its nutritional standards, detailed in document SCP-1152-NI, laced with 25 milligrams venlafaxine. SCP-1152 is to be examined once every two months by an on-site veterinarian following repeated health issues. Access to SCP-1152 is reserved to Level 3 personnel only. Description SCP-1152 is superficially similar to standard members of the Procyon loader species, common raccoon. SCP-1152 weighs approximately 75 kilograms, despite only being 60 centimeters from the nose to the tip of its tail and its current state of malnutrition. SCP-1152 does not share the genome of other members of its species, but is a near complete match for the human genome. After logging SCP-1152's genome in the Foundation database, it was found to share 99.87% of its genetic code with the late Agent Agent was presumed dead after being missing in action for 13 months. His body is yet to be retrieved by Foundation staff. Along with its human DNA, SCP-1152 was proven susceptible to pathogens normally restricted to infecting humans. SCP-1152 also has been verified to have a lifespan much longer than others of its species, having been contained for six years. SCP-1152 is missing the fifth digit on its front left paw. How SCP-1152 was injured is as of yet unknown. SCP-1152 has exhibited intelligence on par with an average post-pubescent human eluding capture from staff for two weeks after initially being found in Site-98's personnel wing. How SCP-1152 managed to get into Site-98 without being noticed is as of yet unknown, along with how it obtained knowledge of the layout of Site-98. SCP-1152 is suffering from long-term depression following its capture. SCP-1152 is capable of manipulating objects with considerable dexterity beyond what should be feasibly possible with paws. It is also capable of opening doors and bypassing low security manual locks, requiring the lock to its room to be replaced with keycard access. Along with the anomalous mass of SCP-1152's body, it appears that SCP-1152 may possess cognitohazardous effects in carnivorous and omnivorous land animals. Any such animal introduced to SCP-1152, even members of its own species, has displayed hostility to SCP-1152. As such, it is now contained in a secluded habitat. Addendum SCP-1152-A After the events of its escape on 6th, 2000. All personnel are advised to keep their keycards hidden on their person when interacting with SCP-1152. The incident report follows. 10.45 AM. SCP-1152 is seen attempting to dig through the walls of its habitat. 10.55 AM. Agent is dispatched to incapacitate SCP-1152. 11.02 AM. SCP-1152 attacks Agent retrieves his keycard, and escapes containment. 2.35 PM SCP-1152 is found in the Site-98 supply storage and contained once more. Notes SCP-1152 was found with a stolen phone. Records indicate that it somehow dialed Agent wife after presumably striking random buttons. The call lasted five minutes and consisted entirely of SCP-1152 whining and barking into the microphone. Yeah, I've seen that thing. It's pretty weird. I can't describe it. Anyway, thank you all for listening, and you are all dismissed. Goodbye. I would like to give a special thank you 
to Muslim Wookie, Slump God, Justin Day, John O. Porter, Captain Gorge, Fluffy, Dread, My Archive Curator Nick, Tyver Ball, Cody Tench, Cheese Whip, Dips McGee, and Oblong Dishboy. If you would like a special thank you at the end of each of my videos, and some other cool stuff as well, visit patreon.com forward slash thevolgan. Thank you.